Welcome to the homework for lesson 19. This is module 6 of grade 2. Get your name on here first. Skip count the columns in the array. The first one has been done for you. So starting right here, that's the first one that's been done for you. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. And now we're solving some doubles. 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 plus 2 is 4, 6, 8, 10. I hope you see the pattern. 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. What do you notice between that first problem and the second problem? How is the array in problem 1 related to the answers in problem 2a? Now let's zoom out so we can see them both at the same time. There's a lot of different ways that you can describe this. And so there's a lot of different right answers. There's a lot of different things that you can say, and there's a lot of different ways that you can say the same thing. Uh, there's not just one thing to notice. But, okay, how is it related? So what that what that means is, how is this array? What do you notice? How is how are these how do these answers? What do they have to do with the array? What do you see that's the same? So the answer the sums or totals. This is just how I think of it. The totals you may have. You may have an answer that's totally different from mine, and it, can, it could absolutely be correct. There's no reason why it couldn't be. But this is just what I see and, what, and how I can think of saying it. The totals in 2a count the array. by the columns. Because that's just the way I'm thinking is that if you counted this array by rows, then you'd be 10, 20. But here if I'm counting it by the columns, I'm counting by twos, and that's how these go, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, right, like that. Uh, fill in the missing even numbers on the number path. So we're counting by twos, but this time usually we're not starting from two, we're starting from 18. So 18, 20, 22. And if you're not sure what comes next, just add two more. 22 plus two more, 20. Or you're skipping every other number, skipping 25 and writing 26, skipping 27 and writing 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42. 44. And there's something that I uh, I hope you notice about the ones digits for these numbers. 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 0, 2, 4. Two, four, six, eight, zero, ten. You know, zero would be ten. The ones digit, and when you get to the tens, fill in the missing odd numbers on the number path. So you can you don't think about this often, but you can count odd numbers by two also. They're just different numbers than we're used to counting. So that's going to be one, three, five, seven, nine, eleven, thirteen. And you'll see the same progression here. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. Look at the ones digits. 1, 3, and then 15 would come next. 5, right? Write to identify the bold numbers as even or odd. The first one has been done for you. So we're looking, we're just writing in even or odd. So we see that 13. These are odd numbers, and 13 is one of them, so 13 is odd. And 14 is even. And so the idea is that if you add 1 
to an even number, you make it odd. If you add 1 to an odd number, you make it even. This is even, and that's odd, because we're just looking at the ones place digits to see if it's even or odd. That's kind of the easy way to do it. So that's even, and 7 is odd. Looking at 16, that 6 makes it even. And looking at 15, that's odd. Looking at 30, right, zeros are even. And nines are odd. And so this is subtracting, right? Subtraction or addition doesn't matter. It's if you change it by 1 because you're skipping every other number, whether it's even or odd, right? So if you add 1 or go back 1, you're going to go from even to odd or odd to even. Are the bold numbers even or odd? Circle the answer and explain how you know. So here's 21. I'm going to say that that's odd. And the reason why is that the ones place digit is odd. And now that's one way to do it. You could draw a picture of it in an array with two rows and you can see that you can't make an array out of it because you're going to have an extra one left over or you could draw 21 X's and then pair them up and show. That's another way that you can you can do a picture for your explanation. And then here we have 34 and I can see that that 4 tells me that it's even so I can just write this. One's place digit is even. 